guys welcome back i hope you're ready for today's video because this room is going to be going through quite the transformation today so i figured i'd take you guys along with me to transform my crochet studio space or whatever you want to call it for a little bit of backstory i live in a two bedroom apartment and my husband and i have switched the rooms a couple of times so now we're going back to this room because let's be honest the lighting is way better it was a total mistake going to the other room so we are going to be doing quite a lot to this room today and i'm so excited you know me of course i have my list of everything that i want to get done in here today so obviously we have a lot of yarn to organize everything's a complete disaster in here right now so we gotta do that and then i also want to get all the wall decor hung up we're going to be decorating my bookshelf and then probably the most exciting thing is i ordered a brand new couch and it's being delivered today who knows when it's gonna happen it's just gonna happen sometime today between 8 and 6 p.m you know how that goes so that's gonna be coming today and i cannot wait i'm so excited i've never had a brand new couch before i've always gotten them secondhand and things like that so it's gonna be so nice to just have a couch in this room to crochet and read on and this is the room where I'm going to be recording most of my YouTube videos too. So you guys will get to see the process of me setting it all up and you'll see it for many videos to come. So I really hope you enjoy this and I'm excited to just take you along with me. So stay tuned for the final reveal because I'm pretty sure it's going to be adorable. So you guys are really going to have to trust the process here because the before of this room is quite the disaster. I'm honestly a little bit embarrassed to show you guys, but I think by the end of this video it's gonna be looking really good so I'm gonna show you what things are looking like right now so behold here's the mess I have all the books on the ground all this yarn that is years old that I need to kind of cipher through and see what I want to give away or keep this is my desk and it's looking a little strange right now because it needs to be pushed against the wall this corner looks weird I have to find a home for this printer so yeah basically the plan is to have the desk go in this corner here and then where i'm standing right now is where the couch is gonna go so that way it looks really cute in the back of my videos here hopefully we'll have some dogs laying on it every once in a while and then i'm gonna put up something here that i'm gonna show you guys that i'm excited about and that's my bookshelf and it looks like a mess and there's a random squishmallow on it his name is austin i think i'm probably just gonna start by kind of organizing this yarn and getting all of the yarn that i'm no longer using put in a pile and i'll donate it or do whatever if it's too tangled i'm not gonna donate it to anyone because i don't want anyone to have to deal with that mess so i think we're gonna start with that i'm honestly a little intimidated because there's a lot of yarn here and i want this to be feeling very organized so i wound some yarn last night and honestly it was it was a tough time it was a tough time you guys wouldn't have wanted to be there because there was a knot like every five Five seconds so I tried to save what I could I try to not be wasteful of things like this because I know I could use this later down the line but let's be honest it's really difficult when your yarn is just so tangled it's like you don't want to touch it it just sits there and gets more tangled and is a disaster so I at least have done a couple of these I have plenty more to do but I figure now we're just gonna kind of put them all into a bin, the ones that are organized, just so I can kind of at least see the floor, if you will. So here's what I have so far. That's gonna have to do. I'm kind of just throwing yarn in here at this point, which is exactly how the tangles happen, but I'm doing my best, so please be nice to me. <laughs> um, I figured I'd show you guys this because I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but this is actually a pattern that I designed. It's on my blog, it's a free pattern, but this is the flower belt bag. And I think it's cute. You just put your things in here. But yeah, I think it's kind of cute and it has this little like bean stitch um, strap, whatever you call it. So yeah, feel free to check that out if you're interested. It's definitely more of a summery pattern. So not really the vibe this time of year, but nonetheless, it's cute. So I have most of the yarn picked up here, which is very nice. So I've got it all organized at least. This is looking a lot better than it was. We just received word from the delivery people for the couch that it should be here between 10.45 and 11.45. 
It's currently 9.53, I think. So I think I should vacuum the floor just in case that's coming soon because you guys know I have dogs. It's, it's so bad. So we're gonna do that. And then this is all the yarn that is just a tangled mess that isn't worth donating that I'm probably just gonna toss. I wish I knew a better way to dispose of this. This is just acrylic though, so it's like, you know. So let's do that. I think I need to get the books off of the floor. Behold the books. Um, I know that a lot of you, like me, probably have a multitude of hobbies other than crocheting, and one of mine is reading. So those are just some of the ones I've read in the past like year or so that need to be moved onto the bookshelf, and then we're gonna vacuum. For now, I think I'm gonna just put all the books on these two shelves right here. If you wanna know like my reviews on books and things like that, I'll leave my Goodreads in the description and we can be friends because I love seeing what other people are reading and all that, it's just so fun. So let's start putting these books away. bookshelf is looking okay for now. I'm definitely gonna go back through it and make it look more cohesive and stuff but this is just how it is for now and I figured now we will vacuum. Look at how full this is. I vacuumed in here like three days ago. Do you see this? That is crazy. That is just the life of having two dogs, I guess. I love this couch so much and I don't think I told you guys this yet, but I got this from Living Spaces. This couch was $350. It was insane and it is so nice. Like this is so comfortable and awesome. I'll definitely link it below just in case you guys are curious about it because this is honestly a steal. Like for the price, like I really don't think you're gonna get a nicer couch for this. So I love it. I'm gonna crochet a little pillow to keep here too. I'll probably show it to you guys in this video. But next, I think we're gonna rearrange my desk and start hanging stuff on the wall. So I'm so excited. So it's been a little bit and things are starting to come together really nicely. I'm so excited with how things are turning out. Obviously, I love the couch behind me. It's so perfect for this space. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait to crochet and all the fun videos we're gonna film here. Oh, I can't wait. So I made sort of an impulse decision really quickly off camera that you guys are gonna get to see in a minute. But basically I decided to place a curbside order at World Market and I got a rug for this room because living in an apartment, there's only so much you can kind of change about the space. And one of the things I don't love is the color of the carpet in here. You've seen it, it's like a dark, dark gray. And I'm more of like a light, airy, neutral, natural feel kind of girl. So we went with a jute rug and that's gonna be ready soon. So we're gonna get to see that. And I think it's really gonna help kind of tie everything in together. So 
really excited about that. I also started getting the bookshelf decorated a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second, but things are coming along. We kind of just need to put up some art on the walls and do some organizing. And I think things are gonna start looking really good. So here's what's going on with the bookshelf as of now. I've kind of tried to start decorating it a little bit. Like I have this granny blocking board and I thought it'd be really cute just to display some little granny hexagons on it. And that's serving as a little decoration right now. I've got the Akatar series. If you know, you know, it's just the best. And you know, some other random things like this Lego bonsai tree. And of course, if you know, you know as well, my sunny angels. If you don't have a sunny angel, you need one because you're missing out. They're absolutely adorable. And we've got the chat GPT frog from our video. He's something. And then all the books. We got all the books down here. And I think this is just what things are gonna look like for now. I'm sure I'll play around with it. I have a really cute brown pot that I'd love to put up here and have like a winding pothos coming down. I think that would just be beautiful. But for now, I think it is looking much better. This is my cousin It from my sister Olivia. Shout out to Olivia if she's watching. She got this for me because it's like a joke where this is what the back of my head looks like. And so one time I put sunglasses on my head and everyone's like, oh, I look like cousin It. So that is that. Well, I think I'm just gonna keep tidying up around here until the rug is ready. And then we're probably gonna hang up the stuff on the walls as well. I have like a frame coming too. So I might just wait for that. Shout out to my husband because he was a huge help with the couch. And I know he's gonna be a huge help with hanging things up because that is just not my area of expertise. My area of expertise is like designing and crocheting and that's about as far as that goes. So let's keep organizing and see what we can do. So I've been trying to decide how I want to decorate the couch behind me and I think what I'm gonna do is kind of play with some warm tones since there is a lot of cooler gray in this room and stuff like that. I really want to warm up the space and make things feel brighter and lighter and to do that I'm using a couple of things that I've crocheted. So the first is this blanket. If you've seen my granny square blanket tutorial you know this blanket. I have a tutorial on it so if you're interested in making one you can check out that video. I'll link it in the description. But I think this would be really cute to just kind of throw on the couch and the second thing this is what i'm really excited about guys this is a pattern from mama made minis it's called the wonderland mushroom i believe but i just think this is so cute like a little pillow to keep on the couch i love mushrooms this time of year as you guys already know so i figured i would kind of just throw that on there i kind of want to make this with with like a taupe top and then the white base and maybe some little white spots on it so i can have a couple of mushrooms on the couch i love making these i'm even debating like selling a couple of them that i make on etsy because i just want to make like 20 of these i truly love this pattern i'll link it in the description for you guys i've never really enjoyed selling things on etsy i've done it in the past but i feel like something like this would sell really well because it's just so adorable and i love making it and that's one thing I've realized is if I don't love making the crochet pattern, it's awful to sell a bunch of them because then you're making a bunch of them as you probably would guess. But I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this couch a little bit. So I think that the tone of this mushroom top and this pillow aren't really matching the way that I want them to. So I'm probably gonna make that taupe colored mushroom and I think it'll be a better match in this space. Who knows, I might just keep both of them or maybe I'll just crochet a cover for this pillow. I don't know, but I love this blanket. I think it adds so much warmth to this space, which is desperately needed. 
with the gray carpet and the gray walls, we need a little bit of warmth and some color. So this does just that. So look at this adorable creature on the couch here. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen in the background of my videos, that one of the healers would be joining us on the couch because it's adorable. And after all, my YouTube and Instagram are both at hooks and healers. So it's only fitting, you know what I mean? I'm still waiting on the rug to be ready for pickup. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on a blog post and hopefully that'll be ready soon. So I finished my blog post and we have the rug here and I'm really excited about this. It's super pretty. So let's go ahead and roll it out. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm obsessed with how this turned out. Obviously I have to fill it up a little bit more with some of my other yarns, but I decided to do this when I saw Emma from Midsummer Knits. Her most recent YouTube video was about her um, 2023 yarn stash and she had this in the background and I commented and I asked her where she got it. And this was just from Home Depot and I think in total, like it all cost me like $15. So it was a super cost effective way to fill up a wall and it works perfectly because I'm in an apartment it puts it all up on the wall and it's a great way to remind me what yarn I already have instead of going out and buying something new. It's just nice to have it all displayed in front of me. If you don't know this, I have ADHD and so something that helps me is just being able to visualize and see things and this is exactly what that is. So I'm super happy with how this turned out. I also have um, a couple of the little embroideries that I've done in the past like hanging up here. So I'm just over the moon about that and I can't wait for when I have more hand dyed yarn to hang up here. I think it's going to be super cute to just have them all waiting there to be wound up. I think now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just the grand reveal of the entire room and we'll walk through everything because this has been a transformation from what we started with this morning to say the least.
just a few other things that I think are worth mentioning. I'm using this little cube down here for all of my current whips. There's a little bit of overflow into this one too, as you can see. And then all my little gadgets and different crochet things are in these top ones. Some of my recording things, my little poppet is in there too. And then my amazing husband did this gallery wall for me and he was so smart. He hung up some paper on the wall and I just think it's super cute. All these different pictures of our travels and me and my sisters and the dogs, all sorts of stuff. And then little Miss Evie has her own corner with her own blanket, of course. And yeah, that's the room. That's the finished crochet studio transformation. I'm seriously so happy with how this room turned out. I think I'm obviously going to want to spend so much time in here and I just can't wait for all the videos, all the content and crochet pattern designs that I come up with in this space. It truly feels like my own and I can just feel the inspiration all around me. So I'm so excited and thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you made it this far into the video, comment a mushroom emoji in the comments below in honor of my cute little mushroom that I'm just obsessed with. I'll be sharing more about him in the future, I'm sure, but I just think this is adorable. And as always, I'm gonna try to link everything I can in the description below. So pretty much everything I can find in this video, I'll have down there. And if you enjoyed this video, it would really mean so much to me if you give this video a like and you subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out a whole lot and it means a lot to me, of course. So thank you so much for sticking around and until next Monday, guys, happy crocheting. Bye!